Skeletal Blade. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sunset Shimmer's Naked Marathon, Chapter 3. Adagio, Aria, and Sonata, each with two bikini tops tied around their wrists, started to hang back from the racers to watch for their quarry. Arya saw a male student with a phone standing nearby and jogged over to him. You there, she growled. How many of the rain bottoms are out are out of the race? Rain bottoms? the student asked. She means rain booms, Adagio said, running over. Her chest bounced fetchingly in the dark purple bikini with black trim. Uh, uh. He drooled a little as he stared at Adagio's chest. Suddenly, he seemed to come out of the trance. Hey, you're those girls, the ones who started the Battle of the Bands nonsense. I ain't telling you anything. With a frustrated growl, Arya grabbed Adagio, spun her around, bent her over, and spread her ass cheeks wide. Gawkers gasped. Phones beeped wildly. Adagio pushed Arya away and turned to face the crowd, crossing her arms under her chest. What the fuck, Arya? Adagio shrieked. Arya put a hand in her face, sneering at their target. You owe me for that, she said. Now talk. The student grinned, face red and hot. Uh, Rainbow Dash and Applejack are out. The rest are still in. At that exact moment, Applejack and Miss Harsh Winnie walked past, arms around each other, waving genially at the crowd. With a grunt, Adagio thrust her hand down the front of Adagio's neon green bikini, made a fist and twisted, dragging Arya behind her. Ow, damn it, Adagio, you're pulling my pubes. Then you should have waxed, Adagio said. Come on, we've got work to do. Sonata bounced behind them. Arya's loud swearing filled the air in their wake. Lyra, wearing a light silver bikini and Bonbon bon wearing a two-tone pink and blue bikini that matched her hair, stared up at the bizarre sight they'd run across on the third leg of the marathon. Derpy was hanging upside down from a utility pole by her bikini bottom, which had somehow gotten tangled up around her ankles. Her lower torso was exposed to the world, her Bikini top was firmly in place, and she was wiggling around, trying in vain to free herself. Derpy, Lyra said, one hand on her hip. How do you even get like that? I don't know, Derpy replied, her lazy eye spinning. It just kind of happened. Lyra and Bonbon bon looked at one another. Bonbon bon shrugged. Lyra rocked over to Derby and removed her bikini top, leaving her hanging upside down and completely naked. The two girls continued on their way. Fluttershy stopped to rest, bracing her hands on her knees. All around her, guys were cheering her name and shouting words of encouragement and rather lewd suggestions. She looked around, blushing. Um. She poked her fingers together sheepishly. You're, you're all very naughty. She said quietly, Strike the pose! A heavily accented voice called. Fluttershy turned to see Photo Finish, one of the few girls who had declined to join the marathon, holding a very expensive camera and pointing it at her. Work the magics! Oh, um, I don't. You will be the poster girl for the animal shelter! Photo Finish declared. Fluttershy bent low, thrusting her chest forward and her rear out. And she moaned, closing one eye. Flash. Fluttershy stood with her legs slightly apart, arms stretched above her head, smiling. Flash. Yes, yes. Photo finish began to draw ragged breaths. Ah, you beautiful butterfly angel. Fluttershy blinked. Um, are you okay? Mo, give me mo. Um, I, I think you've had enough. Fluttershy turned pink. I go. She turned and ran. Photo finish was too busy rubbing herself and moaning while staring at the back of the camera to notice. Cloud Kicker let out a scream as she sprinted forward, hand outstretched to strip her target's top. Trixie yawned, pulled another smoke bomb out of her ass and threw it. The cloud of glittery blue smoke obscured her. Cloud Kicker passed through it, coming up empty. Trixie's laughter echoed from all around her. 
Foolish girl, you're a hundred years too early to challenge the great and powerful Trixie. Damn it, cut it out, Cloud Kicker shouted. Trixie leapt out of the crowd, over the cordon, and tackled Cloud Kicker to the ground. Cloud Kicker struggled and thrashed, but Trixie emerged victorious. The other girl's white bikini top held proudly in her hand. Viola, she said, smirking. The crowd cheered. Okay, you win. Now will you get off me? Cloud Kicker growled. Trixie leered down at her, after Trixie gives her audience something special. She said, she reached down and cupped Cloud K Kicker's breast in her hand, fondling her. The spectators went wild, letting out cheers and wolf whistles. With an impish wink, Trixie drew another smoke bomb out of her ass and dropped it, sprinting away as the twinkling smoke exploded outward. Sunset and Twilight caught up with Pinky two turns later. They were deep, hand-shaped indentations of the whipped cream armor around her chest, and four bikini tops were tied to her wrist. They matched the bikini bottoms of four girls the two had seen stomping past them the direction of the start line. Pinky turned and saw them. Oh, hey, you caught up. She smiled. Want to play tag? We're not going to try and tag you, Twilight said. We don't think it's right for friends to go after friends. Even though that hasn't stopped all of us, Sunset added. Yeah, I saw Fluttershy go past a little while ago, Pinky said. She had Rainbow Dash's bikini top. She gasped. She got Rainbow Dash? Way back at the start, Sunset said. So Fluttershy's still in? As far as I know, Pinky said, AJ's out, though. Yeah, uh, we, uh, we, we saw, Twilight said, blushing. There's an interesting story behind that, Sunset said. There are the rainbooms! Sunset, Twilight, and Pinky turned as one to face Adagio, Aria, and Sonata. Sunset groaned. Oh, good grief. The Dazzlings? Twilight asked. Yeah. We've got a score to settle with you, Adagio declared, pointing dramatically. We'll settle for humiliating you in front of all of Canderlot. And we don't care about the rules. We're stripping you all completely butt naked. She looked at her fellow sirens. All right, you take the little Miss Princess, and how you deal with the pink one? She narrowed her eyes on Sunset. Sunset Shimmer, your ass is mine. Well then, hope you guys have enjoyed. Have a wunderbar day. Peace off.